Cats find themselves squarely in the middle of the playing tournament trying to stay out of the ninth seed. Jay Will, this should be easy work considering Brooklyn has the most skilled duo of all time. Mm -hmm. Right, Jay Will? Right. I'm not betting against the most lethal, the most skilled duo the game of basketball has ever seen. I, let me just say that. The most skilled duo the game of basketball has ever seen. You're telling me you're going to bet against Kyrie and KD going off for 40 or 50? I think their offensive power can make up for the lack of their defensive abilities to a degree. Doesn't get you over the hump. I'm not betting against them to win a playoff series. Okay, there's that. Keyshawn Johnson back here with us. Perk, was that preaching? B B Big Perk still what here, What up, too? Perk? <laughs> man, my IFB, my <laughs> IFB tripping, man. It's driving I'm, you nuts, huh, Key? <laughs> Key, you'll be tired. It's driving Don't me nuts. You, you get that straight. Uh, Perk, I'm, I'm gonna with start, you. I'm going to start with you. KD and Kyrie, talk to me. Are they the most skilled duo ever? They, you know what? They are the most skilled du duo ever. When we talk about KD and Kyrie, we're talking about two of the most skilled players to ever touch the damn basketball. I do not disagree with Jay Will one bit, but I do disagree with him for us talking about winning the playoff series, especially if they have to go against the Milwaukee Bucks, because this is a team game. And remember, much as we talk about Giannis Antetokounmpo, when we talk about the Milwaukee Bucks, we still got to talk about money-making Middleton. And we still got to talk about Drew Holiday, one of the best perimeter defenders, if not the best perimeter, perimeter defender in the game today. We saw what he did to CP3 yeah, and I Devin Booker last year audio. in the finals. We saw, what they, we saw what he did to him. So I do agree with Jay Will for us them being the most skilled duo of all time. But for us, when we get to these playoff series and he talk about he's not willing to bet his money or whatever or go against them, I disagree wholeheartedly. Well, per, I mean, you're taking the complete extreme opposite side of it, saying they're not are, – are you saying they're not going to win a playoff series without even knowing where the top four seeds are going to be? Is that what you're prognosticating here? I just want to make sure I'm clarifying that for the public. You heard what I said. I didn't stutter. I just want to hear you say I it didn't again. Stutter. So you're projecting like J.J. Redick that they're not going to win one yeah. playoff series. So yes. if they happen to see the Philadelphia 76ers. KP, let me talk to you. You are my brother. We both know KD to a degree. You know him better than I do. You're telling me that as a betting man, Kevin Durant, the beef that is there on the court with Joel Embiid, we've seen it in these colossal matchups they had with Kyrie, that you wouldn't think for a second about betting with KD and Kyrie over Joel Embiid and James Harden, understanding how that whole thing went down, understanding how James Harden decided not to rock with KD and Kyrie and force his way out of Brooklyn, understanding how Joel Embiid and KD bark at each other. You're telling me, from somebody who knows Kevin Durant very well, that in that moment where it becomes street ball, where it becomes Rucker Park, you're in mm -hmm. my face. That wouldn't bring the best out of Kevin Durant or Kyrie oh, Irving. We've you, seen you, them rise to the challenge. So, obviously, you're sitting there talking about Milwaukee. We don't know what the top four uh, seeds are going to be uh, like. These, uh, these uh, four teams within one and a half game of each other for first place. We've got a lot uh, of basketball left to play, brother. Uh, okay, so so let me answer your question. <laughs> first of all, you, you got your turtleneck pulled up so yeah, high. Yeah, I'm feeling right. I'm feeling I want you to not – now pull it up a little high and pull it over your mouth and zip it up while I nah. get to talking right now, nah, okay? Go ahead. Here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing. All right. Just like you're watching the the Brooklyn Nets and where they're gonna fall at, first of all, they have to get into the playoffs. Understood. You don't think you don't think for one second those other four teams are watching? I just I just witnessed the Boston Celtics sit Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum and Al Horford against the Toronto Raptors in Toronto when they knew they was going in the, when they knew they were going into a playoff atmosphere when they just captured the number 1 seed meaning they could have had home court throughout the Eastern Conference so i say that to say this we're going to see over the next week and a half or two weeks we're going to see a lot of guys especially for those from those teams in the top of the Eastern Conference all of a sudden have a sore thumb and a sore oh, ankle. Perk. You know why? You, you know why? Because, listen, they're going to position themselves where they don't have to play the Brooklyn Nets in the first round. And I guarantee you, me knowing Doc Rivers, playing for him for eight and a half years, 
he might be one of those coaches and one of those guys that you, start to rest MB, start to rest James Harden, so they don't have to match up with the Brooklyn Knicks. You're suggesting that Doc Rivers is running away from a challenge of guarding KD and Kyrie? No, I'm, I'm not, no, I, no, I'm suggest, I'm suggesting that. That's what you, I'm that's suggesting, what you just said. No, 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 no. But I'm telling you is this: if you're a coach, you want to put yourself in the in the best position possible to be successful. That's Big what perk. I'm telling you, Jay Will. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to tell I, I saw, you. I'm just trying to tell you from a guy that won the championship and been the five finals. I'm just trying to tell you. I'm just. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. No, 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 no. But I'm just trying to explain to you. I'm just trying to explain to you. It's just like boxing, brother. Styles make fights, and sometimes those matchups just don't. You don't match up well with the opponent. Yes, Philly don't match up well with Brooklyn, but I feel like Brooklyn don't match up well with Miami or Milwaukee. But Philly could actually take down Miami. That's what I'm talking about when I say positioning. And Big Molly, Kirk, sit up you straight. Can't, you can't no, up, no, no, you just, yeah. the haymaker, it you, hit you me. To, I'm, still, hit sh- I'm with, still shook. With accolades and stuff. Okay, you, you got that. I didn't have the NBA career you had, Big but Perf, I do watch I basketball. Big energy right like now. Like passion, Perf. And, and you may have more accolades, but I watch basketball with a passion each and every night the same way you do. I'm a student of the game. I spend time I know, with the I best. And that. all I'm going to say to you is, mark this down today. What is today, March 30th? March, 30th? March 31st. March 31st, the day before April 1st. You came up on national TV. I saw you on first take, and you apologized to Kyrie Irving because you witnessed his greatness. I'm going to make sure this sticks in your mouth. you put your foot in your mouth on national TV. I'm going to let you know right now, when the time comes, when KD and Kyrie are going off, I'm going to want you to come on this show again and apologize to me in front of everybody about how you once again have not have overlooked the lethal component bro, of how KD I, I, and Kyrie no, can be no, offensively. No, all no, all and, we gotta no, do, no, all they gotta no, do is win no, one playoff no, series now. No, no, that's when you're the, see, see, this is where you're getting it messed up. See, we're not just talking about KD and Kyrie. Basketball is a team sport. I'm talking about that the means, Brooklyn Nets. No, no, I'm talking about the Brooklyn Nets. I'm looking yes. at Andre. I'm looking at the Andre Drummond who can't guard a pick and roll. I'm looking at the Claxton who can't guard a pick and roll. I'm looking at the others. I don't have faith in Bruce Brown. I'm sorry, I just don't. That's what I'm looking at. So when certain situations, like if you get into a matchup with the Milwaukee Bucks, and all of a sudden we see Drew Holiday neutralizing a Kyrie Irving, if that may okay. happen, or we see Kevin. <laughs> Durant and Giannis going head to head. You still got Chris Middleton. Who's oh, Giannis be would the have to guard to... Kevin Durant, though. You know that, right? Giannis yeah, would actually yeah, have to guard. Yeah, yeah. With the, the Giannis guard Kevin Durant last year? No, that was that was I, PJ I mean, Tucker. I mean, I okay. mean, I and mean, then, yeah. yeah. Did Drew Holiday neutralize Kyrie Irving? No, Kyrie no, he Irving didn't. Before didn't Kyrie got hurt, he got hurt. Uh, okay, he got hurt. Okay. But Kyrie, they were putting on work before that. I'm just trying. I'm telling you what the sample size was last year. Watching it, we were both watching it together. What? Well, so you first have to get they got history well, of him neutralizing Kyrie well, when that's never been the case. Well, first they got to get in. First they got to get in. So that's it, a I mean, one. they got to get in. Yeah. Like I so said, for, you don't know what the seating is yet. You can hold on to that comment. I'll hold on to it for just, you. Just Molly. to get it on the record, though, in terms of do is who would you rather have in the postseason? Is it KD Kyrie or Giannis Middleton? I said KD Kyrie. Big Perk, where are you? I, I am not about to sit up here and disrespect the Finals MVP. I'm going with Giannis Antetokounmpo and Chris Middleton. I am. I'm going. Are we wait, are we talking team now, Molly? We just talking about duo. I just want to make sure. I mean, it was a duo in the postseason. That was the question. Perk will tell you. He re- he reads he reads the topic bar for me and clears it up. <sighs> Big Perk, you're t- I-, I have love and respect for Giannis. I think he's the most dominant player in the game. But you're telling me you're putting Chris Middleton on par with Kyrie Irving, even if KD and, and Giannis cancel each other out, which I don't. I think KD's the best player in basketball. Would you disagree on that? No, I don't disagree. So if KD's the best player in basketball and him and Giannis, who wins that head-to-head matchup? Listen, Jay Will. Okay. That that answers it for me. Thank you. Chris Middleton, you're telling me he's on the same par with Kyrie. I'm I'm talking about duo one for one right now. Which duo would you rather have? Listen, I just told you. And and, and here's the point why. Let 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 me tell you something about Giannis, man. Giannis has gotten to the point where He's unguardable. 
He is unguardable. All that loading up and things to that nature, that's not working no more. I agree. And now he's shooting that three ball with confidence. I'm watching him shoot those mid-range, those turnarounds over both shoulders. We already know that he's going to rebound at a high clip. We already know that he could get out and transition at a high clip. We, now he's not afraid to go to the free throw line. I agree with and you. And actually so knock they, down so free throws. So they cancel each other out. So you're telling me that you take Chris Middleton over Kyrie Irving. All I'm saying is, is this. Who's the best no, team? No, 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 don't, don't say all I'm saying. Hold on, no, 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 no,